Okay, so last time I came here, the Amnazi was coming down off the ramp. So I thought I'd come and see what's happening with the Lancia today. I heard a rumour the Lancia was out on the, on the road. Well, nearly on the road. What's happening? It's been a little, it's been a little while, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> what's happening with the Lancia? <laughs> yeah, it's almost finished now. So we drove it. We drove it yesterday. Took okay. it for a drive in that. So it's come a long way. We just. It's a very long-term project, this one. Lots of trials and tribulations, and um, it should be on the road for the summer, so that would be good. One of your favourites, Lance. Yeah, yeah, I love it, I love it. In fact, <laughs> most of the times you've done filming here, the Lance has been in the background. Well, exactly, yeah, I always frame it so that I can see the Lance. Yeah. So, <laughs> so it's a 1600 HF, it is a, a genuine 1600 HF, so okay. 1.6, about 130 horsepower. So it's carburetors. The factory train use these in the World Rally Championship in the early 70s. I think it won the, the Mexico World Rally. Okay. Just um, about before all the Stratos and the... Yeah, the Stratos Gantos then right. came yeah. after, that's okay. right, yeah. Well, they sort of yeah. iconic ones. So, the customer who owns this, he wanted us to do a replica of, of the, uh, the Mexico Rally car, so we've gone for this, the satin black uh, bonnet, and that was to do, yeah. to do with reflection in... Um, in the sun coming across the, the desert and that. So, oh, okay. um, but it's a beautiful color, Rosso Corsa. Almost there now, so <laughs> MOT, and um, hopefully our client can enjoy it this summer. Yeah. Single cel uh, cylinder, but it's a V4 configuration. So it's a forerunner to the VW's VR6. Because okay. they did the same, but they got the idea from right. these guys. Yeah, did yeah. It. 50 years before. Well, yeah, most ideas come out 50 years ago. Nothing new's come out. Really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, nothing new in the motor trade. <laughs> and, and a lot of original ideas come from Italy. Yeah. Okay. So a lot of the Italian stuff is very well engineered, and and they were doing 16 barrel twin cam back pre-war. Yeah. Lots of. Yeah. And it's hung right over the front axle to again get the gearbox behind. So it's quite nose heavy, but yeah. it, they handle very well. They're, it does handle well, yeah. which is where Audi got its ideas from as well, because Audi do. The same thing. Yeah. Um, they hang the engine and the gearbox over the front wheels. Yeah. 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 So I suppose yeah. Once these guys started winning all the rallies, now they thought, oh, how they, how they, how they build these things. Yeah. So, no. Yeah. Lancia over-engineered this stuff, and eventually, I think they got bought out by Fiat in the end. Yeah. Because they were too well engineered, and they weren't thinking about part count when they were manufacturing the cars. Right. They were, they were all very emotional Italian. They're kind of building them like in the same way you restore them nowadays, which is why probably this is it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Most I love this car, it's probably now unaffordable for That's me. right, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> cool, well, we've okay. got lots of stuff here, Tom. Yeah, yeah, what else is in today? Uh, we've got a V12 E-Type yeah. service. So V12 E-Type on the ramp, we've got an Audi 80, which we're doing suspension, um, uh, drop all the suspension out to powder coat it and deal with some corrosion. This is an 80s, um, 80s classic, these are coming up. In, in value, anything from the 80s is a, a good investment. A Merck SL, so um, fitting a new sound system into a Mercedes SL. So we're just getting this one done. So um, this is a bit behind the scenes, Tom. We don't normally yeah, let you cameras don't, you in don't, you don't here. Don't no, it's far yeah. too messy. I've been, I've been far too messy. We don't want <laughs> this. Yeah, so I was, the other day I popped in and Barry was Barry was getting a bit nervous about this one. I think. Yes. Yeah. They've taken so much apart, you know, we've got to line all the wings out because all the bolts are all missing from the wings. Right. The bonnet's all loose. Obviously, no interior. Yeah, the harness, I just found the harness for the engine, the engine management. So, being a Mercedes, they're not, they're not a simple car. Well, they are a sort of simple car, but there's a lot of parts to them. So, um, yeah, I've got... I got my work cut out, I think. But yeah, fingers crossed. Yeah. First, first stage. That's it. Dusting. Very, very dusty. <laughs> Everything's very dusty. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Well, good luck. Thank you. <laughs> we don't like picking them up when we've not taken them apart because it's so much more work. Yeah. So we've got to try and get all the bits and make sure we got everything. A lot of boxes. Yeah, yeah. So Liam's just in there cleaning the dash because it came to us absolutely filthy. It came from another body shop all covered in dust and so this is literally, we've just started on this now so it'll be interesting. Hopefully you'll catch up with this over the next week or two well, yeah, yeah. As, it, as it comes together. Yeah, I suppose it, it, you've got to give it a dust, don't you? You can't just keep going, oh, we'll dust it later. No, no, you've got to, you've got to <laughs> work keep on it a dusty clean. Car. You've got to keep it clean. Jensen 541, which is 
need to get that one finished. Um, that's almost done. So, um, it's always, a, always an Aston Martin in here. Always, always, yeah. So DB6 <laughs> is coming. We've got to get this um, damn good clean and a polish, and then we got to, there's a bit of engine setup to do on this one. Oh, okay. uh, TR6. Um, this is a long term project. This has been a long time. So about two or three years. Well, it's, but it's taken my lights to your spot, man. It's taken the, it's taken the corner over. <laughs> yeah, that's got to go oh, no. on the road. No, don't do that. That's got to go on the road. That's, that's, uh, we're looking forward to that going on the road this summer. Um, so there's a lot of projects coming to completion. Cool. Yeah. So, yeah, that's where we are today. So Thanks for the um, update. The, the sun's coming out. The sun's coming out. Right, just in time for the, um, not with me, but the Lancia's test drive later. <laughs> Look at that.